False prophet. False prophet. False prophet. Pastor Mays. <laughs> Pastor Mays. You a hypocrite. You going to hell. <laughs> you are going to hell. I'm going to take you apart. God. Shut. Shut up for this shit. I got to different standard. Then people, once you start playing with God and taking people's money and say rap is the devil, they come back and rap because you ain't got no money. I just can't punk with you. You know what I'm saying? I want some people to respect my ministry. He said, listen, <laughs> I called you out for what it is that I called you out for. Amen. Say I was called. And when God calls you for something, he'll never tell you to do something you're going to fail at. Nigga, ain't nothing real about me and none of you niggas. Straight up, I ain't talking about none, none of your artists on death row records. I'm talking about fake ass niggas like me. Nigga, what you wanna be, nigga? Is you riding for God or is you riding on in the name of Satan on gangsta? Say about you actors, y'all actors, man. It ain't nothing real about you, dudes. You feel what I'm saying? Ain't nothing real about you. Nigga, you are amazed, nigga. You supposed to be a gospel rapper. And not only that, you supposed to be representing the East Coast, nigga, not West Coast. The West Coast is for us. See, that's what I'm talking about. Niggas like me go to the penitentiary, go through 10, 15 years, lose my little brother to the streets, and whack ass niggas like that get to go on Death Row Records and represent. I'd have smashed you in the music industry, nigga. I'd have smashed you, and I got the ability to do it. I take you apart. When you're negative and you're feeling negative and you're speaking negative, you, you're just going to draw more negativity to yourself. You're, you will get a better life obeying God than you ever will disobeying God. See, they were looking for the good life. They had plans to live the good life, but they thought they were going to get it by disobeying God. Let me shut that door for you right now. A man will never go far disobeying God. This is so simple. People want something deep. Mercy, what's good with you, boy? I'm in King. You know what? That was my last donut. I'm going to work out. I'm doing tour days. I'm going to get my body right. And I'm on Crenshaw. Just past Pico. Just past Slauson. And I'm out here to meet with Snoop. So I can do another joint venture with Death Row Records. So I'll be officially... The first one signed the bad boy and death row. And we're gonna get the Tupac thing rekindled. Let's see where we go with that. What's good with you, boy? I'm in King. Check this out. If you looking to get signed, you wanna really get to the bag, you looking for a big deal, and you don't wanna sleep your way to the top, you really don't need nobody dancing all in your videos. Look See, at you him need repeating. to come to Rich Fish because we the only one getting Look at people this rich repeating uh, over here. Words. The label don't just get rich. We get the people this rich, man. P. Diddy. I thought you was P. Diddy, boy. Nigga, you a traitor. <laughs> I didn't know that I was going to be young. I was incarcerated and God allowed the devil to take me to the other side. It was unexpected. I didn't have no choice, but I did ask God. Come on! If he could show me his enemy, if he could show me my enemy, and he showed me, it was the devil. It was the devil! I tell you. Lose my little brother to the streets and whack ass niggas like that get to go on death row records and represent. I oughta smash you in the music industry, nigga. I oughta smash you and I got the ability to do it.